Do scoliosis braces work, traditional versus modern braces? Scoliosis braces work in a very different way depending on what type of brace that you design. But one thing is that no scoliosis brace on its own can correct the scoliosis. But when you combine it with other forms of treatment, a brace can help straighten a unnaturally curved and rotated scoliotic spine. Braces work typically by applying pressure to the curvature at certain spots to try to change the spine's position. And that's a basic way of trying to look at what a brace does. And there's very different approaches to treating scoliosis when we look at the overall treatment approaches, traditional approaches or conservative approaches. Now, these two main types of scoliosis treatment really differ on what they do as a result of a diagnosis of scoliosis. Traditional approaches tend to be more reactive where conservative approaches tend to be more proactive. They have different treatment goals and stopping progression versus correcting progression where traditional goals are just trying to stop it, where conservative goals are trying to reduce the curve and correct it. Traditional treatment options typically offer surgical responses as curves worsen, where conservative treatment options are more non-surgical and only trying to manage the scoliosis by changing treatment approaches as if curves were to continue to progress. But more than likely, they're changing treatment approaches as curves continue to improve. And that's a key thing. They're managing a reduction while traditional treatments tend to uh, slow down worsening. And one's managing a reduction, one is managing or, or trying to slow down the reduction. Now, when we look at the type of brace used in a traditional approach versus a conservative approach, we know traditional approaches tend to use something called the Boston brace. And Boston braces is something called a TLSO, which is stands for a thoracolumbar sacral orthotic. And this is the most common traditional brace that's used. Other types of TLSOs are be like a Providence brace, which is like a bending nighttime brace or a Charleston brace, which is the same type of nighttime bending braces. And these types of braces are normally just trying to slow down progression. When we look at conservative treatment, we tend to favor more corrective style braces. And these corrective braces are going to be trying to move the spine into a corrected position. Now, one thing I'll tell you, no matter what the brace is called, the most, most important thing when it comes to brace is the person who designs your brace and the person who fits your brace because that combination of the designer and the fitter are what provides the the best results for a patient now we use something called scoli braces and scoli braces are is a software for us to design and scan and design and have influence in the design of the brace but ultimately the, what matters is the person who designs it and fits it that produces the best results so i don't really care what the brace is called too much i more care about how the brace is fitted and how what effect it's having on the body when it's placed. That type of approach is what really matters. And when we look at Boston braces, we know they normally work via a three-point pressure system that kind of squeezes the spine into a straighter alignment. By squeezing, we can put the brace on and the person looks straighter on the x-ray because you're creating the squeezing effect, but the squeezing pressure can actually weaken the spine and it can actually increase rib deformity because it can actually increase rotation even though it's decreased increasing the overall curve. We know the Boston is limited, limited to its potential effect because it's only addressing scoliosis on the bending component. It's not dealing with the compression or the rotation. And in addition, we also know there's compliance issues with the Boston brace because it's very bulky, it extends very low down the low back. And normally as the curve worsens, which is very commonly what happens in the Boston brace, the brace becomes less and less comfortable. And what's also frustrating is if the curve worsens while they're wearing the Boston brace, there's really nothing else they do. They just say, keep wearing the brace and hope it doesn't get worsened. There's really no management if the curve worsens because they don't have anything else to offer other than just continue wearing your Boston brace. If you outgrow the Boston brace, they may change the brace, but they're not really expecting a different outcome. In fact, if anything, they'll say the brace isn't working, stop wearing it. Um, however, when it comes to corrective bracing like Scully braces, these braces really represent the culmination of everything we learned about scoliosis and brace efficiency and we want to try to deliver the best result possible now scoli braces don't work 
just by pushing. However, they don't squeeze. They do create an asymmetrical push into a corrective posture rather than squeezing it. However, we want to move the body into a specific pattern. And by moving the body into a specific location using a, a brace, we can use biomechanical principles to unwind and correct the scoliosis on a structural level, not just squeezing it. And by not squeezing it, we don't cause any weakness. Why this creating this movement that we created, we actually create strength because the body's actually reacting to this and getting stronger as the spine gets straighter. In addition, uh, we're also custom Customizing the scoli brace for each and every patient as they're based upon their body type and curve type, meaning they're not, it's not like every brace looks exactly the same. Corrective bracing also addresses all components, the bend, the rotation, and the compression. So we want to elongate, derotate, and unbend the spine. We know scoli braces address many of the shortcomings associated with traditional bracing. But one thing that has to matter is when we look at bracing is the management. That as curves get better, we have to modify and manage the brace as they improve. Think of orthodontistry. If you put on a set of braces and the braces stay the same, the braces will only get as straight as that first iteration of braces on somebody's teeth. However, the orthodontist will keep modifying the braces on the teeth to make the teeth as straight as possible. And how straight the teeth become really depend on the orthotist's skill at modifying the braces on the teeth to make the, spine, to make the teeth as straight as possible. The same thing is true when it comes to brace design and scoliosis, that as we design the brace and as we modify the brace, as it's the modifications over time that deliver the best results because they're normally the initial design will only get you to a certain point. But as curves are improving, you need to modify these braces. Now, one thing that our patients tend to see is that our braces tend to get more comfortable over time, unlike a Boston brace, where Boston braces tend to get less and less comfortable as, as the curve worsens. As the curve gets better, bracing becomes easier and easier and easier because the spine's actually getting straighter. And lastly is that we want to combine treatment. Now, unfortunately, with traditional bracing, if it's been unsuccessful, there's really nothing else to do other than to consider spinal fusion and surgery because that only, that's the only thing they can do after bracing is unsuccessful. And we know spinal fusion and surgery has serious potential effects, side effects, and complications. In conservative treatment options, we, we combine multiple other treatment options, not limited to just bracing, but also therapy, rehabilitation, office therapy, office rehabilitation, also corrective exercises in home therapy. So as the person is getting better, we're altering and changing not only the brace, but also the therapy, the rehab, and the exercises they're performing to try to continue to reduce and manage the scoliosis. And for whatever reason, that if there would be some worsening, we have lots of other tools that we can use to try to recover and reduce the curve and catch back up. Where in, tr in traditional approaches, there's really nothing else to do. It's the brace didn't work. Okay, now we need to do surgery. Because we know scoliosis is very complex, that it necessitates, it necessitates a very customized plan. And this customized plan is potentially what's going to determine whether your conservative treatment is effective or not effective. And unfortunately, when we look at braces, a lot of patients think that if I pick my, my daughter or my son, or if I'm wearing a brace, that all braces are the same. And that is the furthest thing from the truth. Just because you have a brace on doesn't mean it's designed to produce a very specific result. In fact, my opinion is that a bad brace is worse than no brace because bad braces can actually limit other treatments from becoming effective. And I know personally this is true because as, as I treat patients before, uh, prior to me understanding how bracing functioned and we put people into Boston braces, we saw my treatment become less effective immediately as when patients had no braces. So a bad brace can produce a very negative results in a patient. So I'm not saying all braces are the same. In fact, we, you wanna make sure you have the very best brace for your spine and for your scoliosis. Here at the center, patients benefit from this modern conservative approach that that opts for corrective bracing and complements it with other forms of treatments to get the very best results. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.